Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We are going to get into the weekly energies for Virgo. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes and your views. I appreciate it. I really do. It helps the channel, helps the message get out to more people and it does make me feel good. So please, please do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with links to my other platforms for additional content and other services that I provide. There is also a link to my store for my jewelry, Earth Still in Stone. So please check that out. If you see something there that is um, that piques your interest but it's not necessarily 100% what you want, contact me and we can work with you on that okay all right thank you guys again so much for your support i appreciate it virgos your channeled song for this week is whip appeal by babyface and what i am getting from that is um there's a there's a lyric in there that says that um, you and your person or you and your environment have a communication that is outside of what anybody else understands. It is outside of um, physical communication or verbal communication, which speaks to me of um, telepathy or um, gut feeling kind of thing. You're very spiritually connected okay so oh, there's some confirmation for you all right virgo what is the tt music oracle message for virgo for this week birthdays around the corner it's 10 10 on the clock right now Birthdays around the corner, Virgo. What y'all doing? What y'all getting into? All right. All right, we're getting a good shuffle. Okay, there's one. Somebody's trying to, I'm hearing Rush, Rush by, uh, who is that? Paula Abdul. Okay, so we have, We Gonna Make It by Jadakiss. In Love Under New Management by Mickey Howard. My First Love by Avant featuring Kiki Wyatt. Started From the Bottom by Drake. And Under the Deck we have One in a Million by Aaliyah. Okay. I'm hearing Chosen One. So take that as it applies for you virgo you chosen one okay the uh i am hearing the vestal virgin where is that coming from y'all better okay all right whatever take it as it works for you i am just a messenger in this i am just the messenger but take it as it applies for you you're very intelligent anybody that's you know tuning in to um tarot or um, channeled messages already very highly um, inspired and open-minded so you're more than welcome to um, take these things in these messages as they apply um, but yeah I'm getting a very um, chosen 
um, for such a time as this kind of opportunity and you're already in it. You're already experiencing it. You are already um, a part of it or you are developing it. Um, you could also be seeing someone as chosen. You've made your choice and now you are um, doing what needs to be done accordingly. You are um, devoted to, you know, however this is going to work out by any means necessarily, you're going to make things happen. Um, revamping something, okay? Um, getting, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am hearing Emperor's New Groove. If you've ever seen that movie, my gosh, it's hilarious. But um, seeing something from a new perspective, a new and a higher understanding, redirecting how you see something, how you experience it, how you feel it, okay? And, you know, it's a fresh look at something that um, that you've done before, that you've experienced before, that you have that you started at, at one time, and you had to you know take care of some stuff. You had to learn and grow and develop more, and now it's you know it's up from here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, Virgo, it's up from here. All right. Wild Unknown Animal Spirit message for Virgo for this week. Mm. Okay. Virgos, we have the mouse and the raccoon. Oh, that's that speaks um a lot about um being very detail oriented. Um but also not sweating the small stuff, okay? Um, not showing your hand completely 100% right off the bat. Just kind of, um, I'm getting this energy of lurking, all right, Virgo? So it, this could be you or this could be someone around you. Um, but very much... Um, I'm hearing there's you, you got something on uh, something under your sleeve and now I'm hearing something about it's one of those older songs I think it's like Frank Sinatra or something I've got you under my skin or something like that just very hush hush very you know under the radar not so much showing your hand okay Oh, righty. Under the deck, we have the shark. And the shark has been uh, coming up quite a bit this week as far as um, feelings, deep emotions, deep feelings that um, on the surface look very mean and very... Um, is, but it's it's the nature of something. It's like it's that energy of resting bitch face. Okay, you you know everybody you know says that you have it. If you do, you have this. You know, um, you don't let anything bother you on the surface. Okay, underneath you may be seething. But on the surface, you keep things very um, straightforward and matter of fact. And if you have resting bitch face, you just have it. But um, you're very much in the in the mode of keeping things under wraps and just moving forward, looking ahead accordingly. Um, not so much of the. Um, the huge grandiose gestures but it's that okay ah speaking of Virgos one of my favorites Michael so 
I'm sure you've all seen the or know of the story of um, Eminem making a diss track of um, about Michael Jackson and rather than Michael responding what does he do he said oh okay so you want to you want to do things in that nature Michael goes and buys his whole catalog. That's boss moves. So rather than allowing someone to get under your skin with, you know, their venom, their attacks, their, you know, what happened, their words, you make boss moves. So that's the energy I'm getting right now. Um, another Virgo that's that does the same exact thing Miss Beyonce she does her job and she does it well she does what she does but when people come after her people attack her people you know try to do things to get under her skin and you know shake her she don't respond Beyonce don't have time to respond what does she do levels up yet again comes out with another hit comes out with you know um, a clothing line or she goes and helps some kind of charity or what have you she does not respond to the negativity and therefore she she takes the negativity or what have you and she transforms it into something uh, transforms it into something that says hey while you over here doing all this negative stuff and got you whatever it is you got going on, I'm over here building my life. So uh, go ahead and do that, uh, Virgo. Do what you do. I ain't mad at you. All right? I ain't mad at you. Come through, Tupac. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> all right. Virgo. Virgos don't don't play that. They get to work. All right. I like that message already. Huh. Right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. So, Fairy Oracles, we have card number 31, Undressing the Salad. Card number 50, um, Arvel the Parrot. Card 60, The Pook. Card 15, The Journeyman. And card number 20, The Dark Lady. Uh, hello, come on through. So... Virgos, right now, you are doing the work, putting in the effort. Got your head down this week, you know, making moves, doing the seemingly impossible, undressing a salad. That's what I'm doing. Think about that. Having to take each individual part out of the salad and separating it. That is. One, it's tedious and requires a lot of patience and detail. And two, you know, it's, it's, it requires a level of focus. And, you know, outside people will be like, why are you doing that? What are you doing? Everybody coming and, you know, giving their, you know, unwanted opinion, criticism about what it is that you're doing with what you're focusing on with your life you are doing so pressing forward regardless of what's going on and you doing so this is you being authentic and true to you okay changing and shifting you know how you um show up in the world for yourself for some of you this is um changing yourself physically for others of you, this is changing your mindset, changing how you um, 
again just changing how you do things how you think about things and you know being on your own journey stepping away from the norm and moving and pressing forward um no matter what that looks like even if it you know for other people if it seems dark in nature this is you going within yourself and um displaying a side of you that a lot of people haven't seen before a lot of people don't um um don't associate with you but right now virgo is focused virgo is um applying themselves but also um doing what is best for you connecting with number one everything between you and god and moving forward other people's outside energies and opinions are no longer uh penetrating what it is that you're doing they can try but at this point in time you're not having it um I'm also getting this this energy of being very well protected at this time, Virgo. Under the deck, we have card number 64, and this is Gawitcha. And this is um, the surprise. This is, you know, that, that, that shift in energy. The shift in, um, you know, now you see me, now you don't kind of thing. You, you put that energy in. You, you seen what it was, what was going on. And now you're like, ah, I see now. Let me move a different way. This is pretty good. This is pretty good, Virgo. This is pretty good. Let's get some more. Four, five, six, six, two one oh dear all right so we have card 15 temptation which is the devil card we have uh the seven of swords or the seven of air and the ten of water the ten of cups so some dark energy be this a person or um a thought process um fears what have you something is not stirring the kool-aid and it is very much um in a um not so high frequency energy this is um this is this is a lot of devil energy it's low frequency um fear-based um and whatever this is is trying to work on your happiness it's trying to work on you know ten of cups is all about your dreams and wishes being fulfilled uh, for some of you this is an outside energy for others of you this is you know this is you lying to yourself about um your feelings and emotions and your dreams so take this as it applies now this part of this i this part i don't like um i don't like people trying to come for your front for your energy and for your happiness and trying to lie lot seven of swords is lie cheat steal and do whatever to try to um, cause hurt and harm both mentally physically and emotionally so uh, be mindful at this time um, you may have to implore your um, your shadow side but doing so from a high frequency in order to um, it's that polarity of matching the devil energy that's low frequency with your um higher mind thinking of how to combat this lower energy okay i hope that makes sense under the deck there is the um the page of cups 
and this is um, it's very young energy of course but it is uh, it's a sense of innocence it's a lot of water under here um, it's a sense of innocence and um, protection uh, new levels of um, love and expressions but also um, this could be could be um, communication of um, love um, it could also be an apology something that happened in the past but now coming up this week it's a lot of dark stuff right here it's a lot of um, doing things on a very low key but also um, doing things very meticulously to achieve what it is that you want okay um hmm. yeah something something wicked this way comes is what i'm getting so be mindful this week all right virgo be mindful there's as you are working to um build yourself do something that um is breaking this that's breaking um the mold i'm hearing um doing something that's new and transforming yourself there's an energy that's still trying to um disturb your peace so be mindful again this could be you with you know old ways of being old ways of thinking but i'm getting this as an outside energy trying to um trying to bring your trying to bring all the work that you've done down that's what i'm getting there's an energy that's trying to um that's trying to sneak in. I'm, now I'm getting some sneaky stuff with this um, mouse and raccoon energy. There's an energy that's trying to sneak in and undo all of the work that you've done. So be mindful of that. Again, um, it doesn't have to be an outside energy. This could be you um, with um, fears and doubts within you. And you are working to... Um, be mindful of that and change it for yourself okay um, doing some inner child work interesting this this went a whole other different direction interesting so be very mindful this week okay Virgo be very mindful all right we have another card number 15 this is from the spirit animal oracle deck and it's cow spirit the miracles are endless you okay for some of you this is um keeping your head down but trusting and having faith that no matter what happens you're going to make it. You're going to work through whatever this is. You're going to get past it and get through it. And it is going to be the results that you wish them to be. The happiness that you are working on. Um, for others of you, this is... Um, whatever this um, energy is that is trying to... Uh, work its quote-unquote dark magic against you um, there's going to be a miraculous change okay um, it's it's going to it's going to require a lot of um, strength of character and surrendering to divine work 
okay letting god come in and just be god and say all right god i'm gonna take my hands off of it because if i get into it i'm probably gonna go to jail you know regular stuff um but you don't allow anybody to bring you down don't I, don't allow anybody to um come in and cause friction and cause chaos um it's it's very for some of you i'm getting a very subtle energy of trying to it's that that snake energy i don't have any snakes out here right now but it is it's that snake energy of trying to slither in and come in and cause chaos and then slither back out and then make everything look like it's a-okay on the surface so be mindful of that but there are um there are divine workings at play okay remember we fight not against flesh and blood but against powers and principalities so whatever these powers that be think they have whatever um information or what have you they think they have be mindful of it and that is the way that you stay one step ahead stay prayed up stay covered keep your focus on what it is that you are doing to um change and shift and grow in your own place and space allow the miracles to happen allow them to come in everything comes in just you know in the nick of time you know that just right before the miracle happens there's you know the chaos the storm the the storm happening okay see yourself you know yes it's all going on around you but you in the eye of it you're safe okay just allow it to you know twirl and do what it does around you but know that you are safe and you are protected as long as you are in the center of it as long as you are grounded as long as you are um having your divine connection okay if you're standing in the eye of the storm you look up there's nothing but clear skies okay so just know that the miracles can come even in the midst of a storm all right under the deck we have card number 26 flamingo spirit embrace the in-between yeah whatever this energy is of trying to uh, deter you uh, from moving forward you've left something and now it's that in between place and space that in between moment again of just before the miracle happens allow that allow the space allow yourself to you know do all the things that that you know to do and trust that no matter what's going on god's got you okay you have that divine connection of um whom whoever you 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 worship whoever it is that you connect to in a divine and spiritual way um for some of you this is you know there's somebody praying for you you may not even know who this is but someone is praying for you okay and um whatever is going on in your life they're praying for you and they are praying that place and space of protection around you no matter what's going on okay so our guidance for this week for virgo from the starseed oracles I am hearing It's My Life by Bon Jovi. I am hearing also, um, be this you or someone else, doing things under the light of darkness. So, of course, 
um, we have a full moon in Aquarius coming up on the uh, 22nd or 23rd this month. So do what you have to do in order to create space for um, whatever informations and miracles that you are praying for that you're needing, okay? All right, we have star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, um, look a little deeper, and lost land, hmm, soul memories and gifts, you've done this before, so we're going back again to my first love, you've done this before, lost lands and lost wisdom, something that you um, either gave away or something that um, that you've been working towards getting back to um, this could very much just be getting back to yourself all right Virgo but you're getting back to you getting back to doing you being you um, leaving things as you know as they need to be but also making sure that you are in the mindset of um, working towards what you want and allowing God to be with you all right um, this is a lot of a lot of interesting energy all paths lead home inner authority intuition turn your gaze within you focusing on you um, these are the, the the things that were under the deck the cards that were under the deck you focusing on um, healing you no matter what it looks like to the outside world you bringing up um, your feelings and emotions to the surface to um, transmute transform to integrate your your shadow and your uh, childlike energy healing whatever that is for you and moving forward you know, you may be in between steps or you were in between steps, but now it's time for miracles to happen. Now it's time for you to go towards what you want. Everybody don't have to know what you're doing. And that's the truth. It is more about your truth, your authenticity, and your connection with um, your divine guidance and divine purpose at this time. But there is possibly someone in your energy, in your environment, be this work, um, your home life, your relationship, what have you, that is um, plucking something down with their hands, okay? They're trying to um, stir the pot, I'm hearing. So whatever that means, but know that you are safe, you are protected, and you are prayed for. All right, Nuggets, I send you love. All right, I send you love. I pray for you. I hope you are well. I pray that God um, protects you and sends your ancestors to uh, to protect your, your place, your space, your heart, your mind, um, your possessions. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. The energies and signs that you could possibly be dealing with this week. We have water signs, a big emphasis on Scorpio, okay? We also have Cancer and Pisces, um, Aries, Capricorn, all right? Yep, all right, Nuggets, I love you. I love you from my soul, and I send you all blessings and light. Take care.